Hey guys, John here from John's DIY Playground. Today I'm inside my Grand Design Imagine travel trailer. It's the 2600 RB. And we are going to put in the Progressive Technologies Energy Management System. And this is a 30 amp uh, trailer. So we have the HW30C is the model number. And right over here is my control center where we have to get it un opened up and wire it in line so you can buy ones that are portable and go on the power pole but i chose this hardwired one because i don't want it to possibly be stolen so let's get started all right so the first thing we have to do is remove the screws here and here to allow the power panel out and i should add you have to be disconnected from your generator and from your shore power at this time all right as you get the last screw undone of those two screws you just want to go ahead and tilt the panel back a little bit you can lift it right off get that out of the way now you can see our next step we have to find the main cable where it comes in and uh, it's going to be behind this power panel so we have to remove one two three four five six seven eight more screws to get the main panel off and pull back and take a look back there all right now with those eight screws removed you can just slowly pull this back carefully and you can see the load of wires we got going here so let me take a minute here offline and locate what the main power line coming in looks like okay so here's what i figured out after studying this thing a little bit this side is the neutral bar of course it's a bus bar with all the whites it gets the neutrals up here is the ground bar that goes to chassis ground and all the other grounds are tied in there. Um, there are a variety of different size gauge wires in here as they should be, just like house code. Um, the 30 amp breaker is tied to 10 gauge wire and it has the orange sheath in the back. I'll show you back in there in a second. The 15s have um, 12 gauge, I'm sorry, 14 gauge wire and the 20 amp circuit has the 12 gauge wire. So. It's all wired as it should be, just like house code. And the main incoming wire, like I said, is this orange sheath one because it has the 10 gauge wire. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect from the main circuit breaker and disconnect the appropriate neutral and ground. And then we're gonna wire in our progressive unit as a go-between. And then I have a separate piece of 10 gauge uh, wire to refeed the circuit, the circuit and the, the bars again. All right, so after thinking about this a little bit more, I have a plan B and um, a couple of things. These gray plastic connectors on the back that hold the wires in place, they don't seem like they're very user friendly and serviceable. So as part of my plan B, I'm thinking of mounting the box like this. I'm actually going to use some 3M77, or I'm sorry, 3M uh, VHB tape, which is a very high bond tape. And it'll just sit on top of the back of the converter. It can't sit perfectly flush back because it's too wide. Um, but it will sit back there and actually sit up high too with the converter so that if there was any chance of water or whatever in the coach that uh, it would be in a dry place. So let me work on getting the wiring set up and I'll show you my progress. All right, so here's how we have it wired in. We've got our orange sheath going into the converter. It also has this uh, inductance meter to measure current. And then where we cut the wire, we reconnect it here on the other side of the connector block, and that will go out to shore power. So all I need to do now is put the cover on, use that VHB tape, I'll put the whole thing back together, push it into the control center box there. And then I'll run the data cable and the remote sensor on the wall so I can read my status codes um, and we'll be all set. So hopefully if you learn something, give me a thumbs up. Please click subscribe to remember to be notified anytime my new videos come out. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.